Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. Now, I demonstrated how to make this project during my Facebook Friday number 18. I'm just making a cleaner version for my YouTube subscribers. So, here are the supplies. So saffron cardstock that measures nine and a half by five and a quarter, and then another piece four by three. We're using the um, cupcakes and carousels designer series paper stack, and you need four pieces that measure two by two and a half. If you'll notice, I used a different pattern on uh, this one, and I thought, well, let's let's try this pattern. I love the entire pack of paper. It is retiring, sadly. Um, okay, so then we've got very vanilla for our dragonfly back here, and that's just four by three. And then I've got two pieces for our greeting here, just in case I mess up. Don't forget, head over to my website, leave a comment. I'm giving away the kit to make this project. Okay, let me get out the Simply Scored scoring tool, and we will start with scoring our box. Okay, I'm going to place it here on the landscape side, which is nine and a half. And I'm going to score it at a half an inch, two and three quarters, five inches, and seven and a quarter. Then I'm going to turn it on the portrait side, which is the five and a quarter side, and I'm going to score it at three quarters and three and a half. Okay, let's fold it on the score lines. I do have a template. It will be included on the inspiration sheet that's free that I post on my website. So here's my template. Okay, so what we're going to do is start over here with this half inch side. If you look over here, there's not one. Okay, so we're going to remove this section here. and then this section here. Okay, I'm just gonna give this a little angle cut, just like that. Now on the rest of these, we're just gonna cut up to the score line. We're not gonna touch them other than just cutting up to the score line. And we're down, going down here on the bottom of the box. And the same thing, we're just gonna cut up to the score line. Okay, now this is these flaps right here. So we're going to take the corner punch and we're going to round those. Any corner punch will, will work. This one is retiring. It's probably sold out by now. Actually, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. But any corner punch that you have will work. Um, I've, I've been a paper crafter for a long time, and I think this is probably huh, corner rounder number five, I would, would imagine. Okay, these are gonna fold down just like that. But before we do that, we want to add our designer series paper. So let's go ahead and assemble the box, and then we'll do that. You wanna use a stronger adhesive. I'm just gonna use my, um, well, I'm gonna to try to use my fast fuse. It's finally not raining today. It seems like it's just rained the entire spring. <laughs> okay, so there's that. This is gonna be the back of my box. This is gonna be the front. So I wanna make sure that I put the adhesive on the side that's gonna be the front. And then these are the sides, this is the back. Okay, so we'll fold the sides in first and then fold the back in. Let's make sure this is straight though. <laughs> okay, come on. I got fumble fingers today. Just ignore me. There we go. Now this one. I just want it to be straight, okay? There we go. Here's our box. Let's get our designer series paper. And for this, I'm just gonna use my snail. Now, 
Now, don't forget the uh, brand new catalog is going to be um, going live on June 1st. So this is just the middle of April. But all of my customers, if you've placed a minimum of $50 with me in the last six months, you automatically get a free catalog. You don't have to jump through any hoops. You don't have to request it. I will run a report at the end of this month, and everyone that's ordered $50 from me in the last six months will get a free catalog. I do need you guys to make sure your address is correct. I can't tell you how many people had incorrect addresses two years ago. So I really, really, really don't want to do that because those catalogs do not come back to me, believe it or not. Who knows where they go? Okay, so now for these flaps, I think in my video on Facebook Friday, we I think I used glue dots or who knows what I used, but um, I think that dimensionals look better when you use these to, to fold them down. Isn't that cute? Where's the back of our box? I did such a good job, I can't even tell. Here it is, because I can tell by the bottom. <laughs> okay, so now let's stamp our images. I've got the very vanilla strips here. We're using Bermuda Bay ink, and I didn't even say the name of the stamp set, Dragonfly Dreams. Uh, I've had a couple requests for me to use this stamp set, and I'm happy to say I have a couple, couple projects for you this week. I think I smeared that just a tad, so I'm going to try one more time. That one's much better. Now we're going to take our very vanilla piece and we're going to stamp the dragonfly. We got on the discussion the other night about the dragonfly and the rescuers, um, Evan Rude. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to close out my ink pad, tidy up my desk, and get the big shot. Okay, so here's the big shot. Magnetic platform. Cutting pad. We're going to cut out the dragonfly first. Now, for this image, we're actually going to be using this one, okay? So I'm going to place that on there. And hopefully that is straight. And then run it through. I should share some of my dragonflies that I have. Um, I've been collecting them for years. Okay, so now uh, that with this framelit, okay? And I should say... Um, I also used to collect little fairies. I stopped collecting when I started collecting stamps and fabric. Okay, so now we have all of our uh, dragonfly pleat pieces. So what we're going to do is take this one and attach it right on top of that one. So all I'm going to use is, you could use your liquid glue and or you could use glue dots. I'm going to use glue dots since my liquid glue is over at my other station. I have a, a, a video station for my everyday videos and then I film my live videos over in my real stamping area. So it's like, I, uh, I it's almost like I need to have two of everything because either one's over here or one's over there or anyway, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so that part's done. Now let's take our greeting and we're just going to flag the end with the uh, Banner Triple Punch. I'm not going to buy two of everything. I'm thinking about moving my office around again so that I can accommodate both video stations. Okay, so this is going to get attached right there. And I'm just going to take a glue dot and attach it right where I want it. That looks pretty good to me. 
And then we want to take some of this Bermuda Bay Tram. I love this stuff. And it's going to get attached just like that. It looks like I cut too much again. Oh well. And I'm going to attach it also with a glue dot. And I probably will need to add another glue dot. Well, I don't know. It's holding pretty, it's holding pretty well. I'll go ahead and trim this. Okay, and then this is just going to get attached right there. And I'm going to put a couple glue dots. Now what I want to make sure, I'm going to slide this down just a tad, because I want, I want to cover up where that is attached, but I don't want to cover up the word too, if that makes sense. So we're going to angle it. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I have it. No two are going to look just alike. Okay, so here's the original one. Here's the one we just made. Pretty cute, isn't it? Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.